Hi guys, welcome to Kiki and Ren's March Craft Subscription Tutorial. Thank you for being patient with us. Things have been crazy at our house. Crazy. We got people moving in, people moving out, new jobs, all kinds of crazy busy stuff going on. Good things, but some hard things. Anyway, we are here now and we are ready. We're going to show you your two craft choices for March. One is the Little Wren Birdhouse right here. This is one already assembled. And you'll see you have this little nail holder right here because you have a hinge door on the side. Um, David has already drilled pilot holes on the sides of your kits if you ordered the birdhouse. And then you have a little pilot hole also for your nail to just hold that shut so that it doesn't swing open when that little wren is building its little nest. Your uh, kits will come whoop, with some directions. Pilot holes, like I said, already drilled. Can you see the pilot hole right here drilled um, to put that together? So that one will be pretty easy. You already will be sent the wood. It's all barn wood. It's leftover wood that we have. You already have your handy dandy hammer. And we'll be sending some longer nails to assemble your birdhouses. One for you, for yourself, one to do or make with a friend. And then as far as your um, bunting craft, the shamrock lucky bunting craft, you'll have the burlap pieces already cut. I still need to cut the ends on these little guys. Each kit will come with um, two sets of seven burlap strips and your sets of felt, which will also be cut. And then um, you will have your stencils here, and they're pretty easy to do. Here's my L here. The main thing is with your stencil is that when you uh, lay that down flat on your work table, wherever you're working, is make sure that you're, you're, you're using your flat brush with your green paint because you're not going to want to brush back and forth too much. You're going to want to more just kind of uh, push down like this. Otherwise, it's going to go up underneath there. I really didn't have too much trouble though. I was surprised at how nicely these stenciled out the lucky in um, for the shamrock. Okay, and the other little short thing is your little shamrocks, how to make these. They're gonna come in four pieces just like this. And I had already started, then we messed up a video and I had to restart. So all you do is you're gonna take your um, needle and thread and you're just going in and out, in and out, four across just like that. Then when you come to the fourth one, you're just going to pull them all together and go into that first one that you started with and tighten it up. And it makes a cute little shamrock. Isn't that adorable? It's like um, if you have a grandma that used to make those cozy quilts. Then you're just going to go a few rounds in and out at the back of that shamrock to tighten it up. And you have your nice little shamrock. And then while your needle is still attached to your thread, position it on your last burlap piece in your first. You have one of the first ones to last. And you're just going to sew back and forth and then tie a knot in the back of your burlap, which is what I did with this one. So it's pretty simple. There's that shamrock and then just that little knot in the back. You'll just go back and forth in the middle to hold that on. Um, these are not sewed down yet, but they will be sewed down. And then you're just going to take your big jute and you're going to run it through, which will be pretty easy. And you'll end up with your little lucky bunting. It's six and a half feet of jute. And so all you're going to need to do is run that through when you have plenty of room to tie it on either end. So you already have your paint. Or maybe I'm sending green paint. I can't remember. But either you're going to be sent green paint or you already have green paint. You have your paint brushes. I'm sending the burlap, the little felt pieces to make your shamrock. You'll get some kind of little remnant thread because that's what this craft kit's about is using what we have. Make, share, and give. Um, for your birdhouses, you already have your hammer, you're getting your wood and your nails, and I think that's about it. It's a pretty easy tutorial. Um, I hope you have fun with it. I hope that you get some little wrens. They're so sweet, and they have such a sweet little song that they sing. And if you do your lucky bunting, I hope you enjoy St. Patty's Day. And if you're Irish, make sure to say, kiss me, I'm Irish. Um, I hope that you have a great day. Thank you for being part of Kiki and Wrens. And if you have any questions, you can always leave them on our page, or if you're a subscriber, email me at Kiki and Wren, uh, no, just Kiki and Wren at Gmail. Is that right? Kiki and Wren at Gmail. Yeah, I think so. All right, have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.